Wednesday morning to you. Welcome into a live Sports Center alongside Kevin Nagandi. I'm Jamie Sire. Eight gentlemen remain, including the top four seeds, as we are now down to a quarterfinal play at Wimbledon. Here's what you need to know on those top seeds entering the day. Yeah, right sure, I'll now, take right, them. Bomb pop. <laughs> I was talking to a buddy over the weekend and he was telling me about how he had a bad day at work and I told him your bad day at work maybe just maybe 10 people know about it <laughs> if we have a bad day at work camera guys all included hundreds of thousands of people know and some will let us know on social media oh yes they love our, our Twitter fans uh, nothing like having a case of the Mondays on national TV or in the case of the grounds crew member at PNC Park maybe a case of the Tuesdays Fortunately, a couple of his coworkers picked him up. Look, Kevin, Britt Booker and Rico Hill, they both play collegiate basketball, but they've been playing together since grade school. They created Hoopville as a way to insulate themselves from their gang-infested Chicago neighborhood. Now the childhood friends have formed what they believe is a million-dollar team. The basketball tournament, it's a single elimination winner-take-all event, and after a heartbreaking loss a year ago in the tournament, the Illinois Hoopville Warriors are back to seek redemption and a big payout. LeBron James hasn't yet worked out a deal with the Cavs, but he doesn't seem too worried about it. He's been spotted in the Bahamas this week, you know, with his buddies, Dwayne Wade, Carmelo Anthony, and Chris Paul soaking up the sun, drinking some what I assume to be fine wine, not pictured. The guy's riding a giant banana boat. Yes, that actually happened. Um, I don't think I, I, I would catch uh, Chris Broussard in a banana boat at, at any point. <laughs> I have I, been on a banana boat. You have? I have twin daughters, so okay. I had to get on it with them. All right, I would like a photo. Tougher than it looks, though. I'll tell you that. It's not easy. Uh, I think we're going to need a photo of that. But regardless, <laughs> LeBron looks to be having a great time on vacation. Uh, what is he waiting for just to resign with the Cavs? Well, his agent, Rich Paul, is the same. Center, rather than join the majority of world's top golfers and prep for St. Andrews by playing the Lynx course in Golan, Scotland, Jordan Spieth will spend the weekend at the John Deere Classic, and here's what you need to know. The last player to win the Open Championship after playing the John Deere Classic the week before was Todd Hamilton back in 2004. For more, we welcome in Gene Wojciechowski, who joins us from Silvis, Illinois, for the John Deere, where Spieth is competing this weekend. And how has Jordan just been handling all of the, the press? The celebration just beginning for the women's national team, and the celebration continues for the Chicago Blackhawks as the Stanley Cup continues to make the rounds. Hawks center Andrew Desjardins uh, using it as a giant cereal bowl, cereal of choice. Lucky Charms, because they're magically delicious, especially when eaten out of a giant hockey trophy. Hey, we've all been pulled over for speeding. Athletes are not immune to the posted limits. Yesterday, Roy Holiday tweeted that he got pulled over for going 58 in a 45. Hey, it happens, right? But then you drive really slow after you get pulled over, don't you? Apparently not. Twice in less than three hours by the same officer. He hours later tweeted, got me again. I asked if he was stalking famous people. He said, no one lives around here except for the washed up pitcher. So finally, who doesn't love a good dog?